From the main screen of the Zinnia app, there are two main sections to check out. The first is your journal section, and this is where all of your journals live. The second is the studio. Here you can find new content updates, tutorial videos, artist features, and so much more. And also check out all of the content available in the Zinnia libraries. If you have the Zinnia app open on your phone and your iPad, you can sync those journals together. In the top right of your screen, tap the ellipses to open up Zinnia's setting options and toggle on iCloud syncing. iCloud syncing allows you to keep both of your journals up to date at the same time, regardless of where you are and if you're on your iPad or on your iPhone. For increased privacy and security while using the Zinnia app, enable the passcode feature. With the passcode feature, you will have to enter a four-digit passcode to use your Zinnia journals. Be sure to register an email with Zinnia so that the app can email you in case you forget your passcode. Stay consistent with journaling and enable your daily journaling reminders. That way Zinnia can remind you to take a moment to add and update your journal. You can set time and days that work best for your schedule. Let's begin a new journal. Tap the new journal plus sign on your journal page to get up and running. Here you have a few options. You can start with a basic page, which will start a new journal from scratch. You can start with a full journal. This option has a full list of pre-made and pre-designed journals that you can use to get up and running quickly. You can now also import PDFs directly into Zinnia and fully enjoy journaling, planning, and writing all inside of Zinnia. Let's begin a new journal and start with a basic page. To begin, choose your page styles. Here you can choose options like your page size. Start with standard, square, travelers, eight and a half by 11, and many other sizes. You can choose your page orientation, landscape or portrait to start, single or double page spreads, and you can also choose your paper color. Use one of the pre-selected colors or tap on the color picker, which is the three overlapping circles, to choose your own custom color. You also have four paper styles to start with, blank, dot grid, grid, and line. Once you are done selecting your new styles, tap begin new journal to get started. You have some great canvas options when using Zinnia on your iPad. You can choose to use your journal in landscape or portrait orientation on your iPad. In portrait mode, you can choose to see all of your page spreads together or just one at a time. Pinch in to see the full page spreads or spread out to snap to a single page. In the bottom right of your screen, tap the view square to toggle between left, right, and full page view. At any point, you can also change your page styling. Tap the three dot ellipses in the top right of your screen and tap page style to go back to your page style options. You can also add a new page from this menu and even duplicate your current page. There are a few helpful settings that you can choose on how you work inside of Zinnia. Tap the three dots or the ellipses in the top right of your screen and scroll down to settings. Here you can toggle on or off two finger undo, which allows you to tap on your screen with two fingers for a quick undo. Toggle on seamless mode to always draw with your Apple Pencil. That way, anytime your pencil touches the screen, it will automatically switch into drawing mode to write or draw on your page, and your fingers will select, scale, and rotate designs. You can disable finger drawing and only use the Apple Pencil. This way, you can choose what your pencil does and also what your fingers will do while in brush mode for even more custom control. You can enable scribble and text areas. That way, if you tap on the screen in any text box, you can write with your Apple Pencil on your screen and the app will translate your handwriting into text. Be sure to have scribble set to on in your device settings for this feature to work in Zinnia. There is an interactive guide that can help you understand and learn even more about Zinnia. Tap the three dots or the ellipses in the top right of your screen and scroll and tap on help. Here you can find an interactive guide to the app, tutorials, videos, 
FAQs, and other ways to get support while using Zinnia. Once you create a new journal, it's time to give it a name and choose a new cover as well. Tap the three dots or the ellipses in the bottom right of your journal. Tap Rename. Tap on the field that says Untitled and type in your new journal name. If you'd like to choose a new cover style, you can choose a photo and select from your own personal photos. Tap on a color dot to select a solid color or tap on any of the design covers and styles that already exist for you inside of Zinnia. Tap Done when you've selected your custom name and design. You can change these selections at any time. When you are ready to get started, tap on the journal that you'd like to use. You can tap on your first pre-made page or tap New Page to add a new page type. When you are in your first page, you have a few ways to get started. In the top center of your page, you have your journal menu. In that menu, you'll find the studio icon. This is where all of the stickers and digital washi and so much more live from Zinnia. The photo icons allow you to add your own personal photos right into your journal. The text icon adds live text right onto your page. And the drawing icon allows you to use your finger or Apple Pencil to draw in many different styles inside of your journal. There is so much ready for you inside of the Zinnia Studio. Along the top, you'll find recent editorials, including new feature updates, monthly inspiration, and wonderful productivity articles. The Studio is also where you're going to find all the different content ready for you inside of the app. Let's start with the templates category. This section contains pre-made templates that you can use to start filling your journal right away. Explore page templates like daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly planners, full journal designs, trackers, and digital doodling and lettering tutorials. Tap on a collection to see what templates are inside and tap on a template to add it right to your page. What's great about template pages is that they already have text boxes built right into the pages so they're ready to use right away. The sticker category is an ever-growing collection of stickers that you can add into your planner. Each collection includes themes, styles, and fun and exciting ways to express yourself in your journal. The collection category includes pre-selected content that fits into certain themes or an aesthetic. Tap on a collection to see what's inside. Each collection contains stickers, journaling cards, lettering, washi, and icons that fit that style perfectly. Journal cards are a wonderful category to select different types of cards to add into your planner, create fun pages, layer stickers, and write notes to yourself. Text boxes are similar to stickers, but they have a very special quality. Each sticker is pre-made with an editable text box for you to add your own text notes and tasks right into the box. The planner icon category is filled with items like arrows, productivity signifiers, mini calendars, banners, shapes, icons, and so much more for you to add right onto your journal pages. The paper packs category is like having an entire craft store right at your fingertips. Explore patterns, textures, and other creative theme pages to add as backgrounds or pages inside of your journal. The lettering category is filled to the brim with interesting and cool lettering, numbers, and header styles to really make your journal and your journal pages stand out. Use pre-made daily, monthly, and other headers to get your pages up and running quickly. One of the coolest features in the Zinnia app is the digital washi tape category. With realistic edges, interesting and stylish colors and patterns, you control the length and the height of your washi and really have an amazing time adding decoration and layers into your pages. You can use frames and add detail onto your personal photos, create container boxes for your notes and tasks, or even add decorative items right onto your pages. The dividers category has creative ways for you to break up your pages, notes, and tasks. Adding these continuous patterns to your pages allow you to separate content on your page, but in a fun and stylish way. Under the studio menu, you can use the recently used feature to find elements that you've used right inside of your journal. Tap on the clock icon in the top center menu to find all of the items that you've used recently. 
If you can't find a sticker again, or maybe you're looking for certain items or themes, use the search feature to search by name, item, or description for your favorite Zinnia items. If you want to find what pack a sticker is from, long press on the sticker and tap View Pack to see other stickers and related content from that pack. My Stuff is a personal space that you can add your favorite Zinnia objects into to quickly and easily find and reuse them again. To add to My Stuff, find any object in the studio that you want to save. Long press until the menu pops up and tap Save to My Stuff. You can also save objects from your page like stickers, handwriting, and text boxes. Tap on the object and tap Save. You can find all of your saved objects under the studio icon. Tap the person icon to see your personal collection. Tap on the photos icon to add your own photos to your journaling pages. Remember birthdays, create memory pages, or add your own backgrounds and decorations. Adding text to your pages is a great way to include text to do's, notes, and long and short form journaling. Tap the text icon and tap anywhere on your page to start typing. Your keyboard will show up with some text options for you. The left hand side will show you what font styles are available for each font. On the right hand side you have your text alignment tool, left, center, or right align your text. Tap the bulleted list icon to create a bulleted, numbered, or tappable checkmark list on your page. Tap the double A icon to change your font styles. Use the size and line spacing sliders, or choose pre-selected sizes. And you can also choose the color of your own text. You can also bring in your own fonts into your journal. With the native iOS font picker, any font saved on your device will be recognized and usable in Zinnia. Along with adding text, stickers, and washi in your journal, you can also draw right inside of Zinnia. Tap the drawing icon in your top navigation bar. You can draw with your finger or use an Apple Pencil. When you enter drawing mode, you will see you have three slots to show recently used brushes or writing tools and one slot for the eraser tool. Tap one of the three brushes to select it. Tap the plus icon on the brush to open your brush menu. Here you will find the brushes and writing tools available in Zinnia. You can choose between a marker, pencil, technical pen, highlighter, brush pen, paint pen, airbrush, and watercolor brush. You can control the size, opacity, and smoothness of your lines using the options to the left of your brush menu. Use the sliders to increase or decrease. You can also choose the color of your drawing tools by tapping on one of the pre-selected colors. Tap again to open the color menu. In this menu, there are more preset colors as well as the color wheel for unlimited color options. The eyedropper tool allows for you to identify and pick up any color that is already on your spread and apply it to your brush. Tap done in the top center of your page when you want to exit drawing mode. Once you have stickers, washi, or any objects on your page, you have a lot of options on how they look. Tap an object on your journal page to single select it. You can control where your object is on the page by tapping and moving it with your finger or your Apple Pencil. Control the size of your object by pinching or spreading your fingers to scale the object. Use the corner anchor points to grow or shrink it. You can also copy, paste, lock, save, or link objects when you select them on your page. When an object is locked, it cannot be selected or moved. To unlock an object, double tap and select Unlock. You can easily save an object or group of objects to a feature called My Stuff. My Stuff can be found under the Studio icon in the top navigation bar. Tap on the Person icon to see all of your saved objects. With an object selected, you can see object options on the bottom of your screen. Tap the trash can icon to remove the object from your page. You can also deselect objects by tapping on the deselect icon. This is great for when you are zoomed in and want to ensure that nothing is selected. 
Use the send to front icon to move an object forward on your pages. Use the send to back icon to move an object backwards on your page. Tap and hold either icon to move the object to the front or to the back. Tap the opacity circle to use the pre-selected opacity sizes or the slider to change how transparent or opaque an object is. If the object is a solid color, you can also change the color of that sticker. Tap the three overlapping colored circles to open the color options. Use the color preset, color wheel, or eyedropper to choose a new color. To choose a color from your page, tap on the eyedropper and you will see a color marker on your page. Tap or drag the eyedropper until you see the color that you want in the middle of the circle. Tap done when you have the color that you want. You can select multiple objects in your journal at the same time using the lasso tool. To use the lasso tool, tap and hold on your journal page until you see the lasso icon show up. Drag the lasso tool over and around the objects that you want to select at the same time. If you missed an object or want to select more, long press on the object to add it to the group of selected items. Once all of the objects are selected, you can choose to copy, lock, group, or save the objects together in My Stuff. With multiple objects selected, you can choose to group them together. Grouped objects can be moved, resized, and deleted together. A group can be moved forwards or backwards together on a page, have their opacity changed simultaneously, and aligned. If you no longer want objects to be grouped, tap the group and select Ungroup. This will make all of the objects individual again. Grouping and ungrouping is really useful when working with templates in Zinnia. Templates are pre-grouped pages and layouts that you can easily add to your Zinnia journals. If you want to change the layout or delete any parts of a template, you can do that by first tapping on the template page and tapping ungroup. All of the objects on the page will now be single objects. You can delete and alter the objects on your page to fit your style and needs. Select all of the objects again and regroup them. Tap and save your new custom template to My Stuff or copy and paste it to a new page. If you want to align multiple objects inside of Zinnia, select all of the objects on your page. In your bottom menu, tap the Align icon on the far right side. You can align your objects left, center, and right, top, center, or bottom, or distribute the objects vertically or horizontally between each other. You can choose to delete your journal pages or an entire notebook if you want or need to. But don't worry, you can always get them back. You can delete a journal page by tapping on the ellipses in the bottom right corner of your journal page. Tapping delete will remove it from your collective journal pages. If you did that by accident or need to get it back, tap deleted pages in the bottom center of your screen. Deleted pages will show up with all the other pages here. You can tap on a page and choose to restore it or delete it forever. Once you delete a page forever, you will not be able to get it back. This also works with entire journals. Tap the ellipses on the bottom right corner of your journal and tap delete. To retrieve it, scroll down to the bottom of your journals page and tap deleted journals. These journals will automatically delete in a set number of days, but if you'd like to restore them, tap on the journal and tap restore or delete forever. You can move and rearrange pages in your journal easily. Tap and hold on the page in your journal that you want to move. Drag it to where you want it to go. Your other journal pages will move around it to make space. Let go of your page to move it into that place. You can also move pages into other journals in two different ways. The first way is to tap on the ellipses on the bottom right of any page and tap move. Tap on the journal you want to move your page to, or tap New Journal to start a new journal with that page. The second way is by holding the page and dragging and dropping it into a new spot. You can drag it over the Close menu in the top left of your screen. Then drag it to the other journal you want it to be in. Tap that journal with another finger and place the page right into your journal.
you have a few different options if you want to export your Zinnia journal. You can export your entire journal as a PDF by either tapping the ellipses on the journal cover when in the journal's view, then tapping Save PDF. The other option is when you're in the journal's pages view. Tap the ellipses on the top right, then Save PDF. If you'd like, you can also export individual pages as JPEGs by tapping the ellipses on the bottom right of the page preview, then tapping Save to Photos. If you want to add pages to your analog journals and planners, you can choose to print your full journal or individual pages. If you'd like, you can choose to share your journal with your friends. From your journal page, tap the ellipses in the bottom right corner and tap Share Journal. You can also share your journals by tapping the ellipses in the top right in the Pages view. Then Share Journal. You can share your journal through a text message, email, or other communication apps. The file is shared as a .zinnia journal file, so your friends will need to have the Zinnia app to open the full journal. If you want to open your journals in other programs, you should export them as PDFs or JPEGs. It's a great way to collaborate and share your journal and page ideas. You can now convert photos with writing into editable text inside of Zinnia. For the best results, first import your screenshot or photo of clearly printed text. Next, tap on the imported image and tap on the Convert to Text icon. Zinnia will convert the text in your image. Now you can edit the text or change its font, color, and style. You can import your PDFs directly into Zinnia. You can import a full journal that you found on Etsy or that you've created elsewhere. From your journals page or while inside of one of your journals, tap on the ellipses in the top right corner and tap Import PDF. If you are importing from your journals page, your PDF will open inside of a new notebook. If you import while inside of one of your journals, it will open on a new page. You can import trackers, class notes, or any type of PDF that you need. And your embedded links inside of your imported PDFs will also continue to work.